Hello everybody, today is November 2nd, 2020, and you are listening to the Patia News, Thailand and Patia Daily News Recap. A quick look at the news that took place yesterday and what to be aware of over the next week. First up, the video that you're watching above shows a fire that took place when a family of four returned home in the early hours of November 1st yesterday to find that their home, when they had gone out for Loy Kertong, had gone up in flames. Now, luckily, nobody was in the house at the time. However, as you can see from the video, the house was completely destroyed, as well as a chicken coop and uh, animals that were inside the coop at the time. A neighbor stated to police and firefighters that he heard a loud explosion or bang-related sound just before the fire took place. He called firefighters who came out and took about a half an hour to put out the house fire. Firefighters and police continue to investigate the incident. In other news in Patia yesterday, a 28-year-old Thai man was arrested in the Patia area who works as a security guard in the local Bangla Moon area. He was allegedly on Saturday over the weekend seen in front of a school uh, performing lewd and indecent acts in front of various people that were at the school. Uh, police and officials who were actually given the uh, privilege to go ahead and see CCTV-related material from the arrest went ahead and tracked down the man arresting him. The man allegedly admitted to the crime, stating that he was extremely intoxicated and high on methamphetamine at the time of the incident. He remains uh, under police custody at this time after the weekend. For Thailand National News, today the Prime Minister, as well as the Thai Cabinet, will go to Phuket, Thailand, as well as Go Samoy, to go ahead and have a special two-day visit to the hard-hit southern provinces. The provinces in the south of Thailand are traditionally very reliant on foreign tourism. In fact, on Phuket and Go Samoy, t- foreign tourism is responsible for as much as 90% of the GDP of those islands and communities. Because borders are still closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic to most foreign tourists without going through a very time-consuming process, COVID-19 tests and quarantines, the Prime Minister and his cabinet are visiting the area to suggest ways to go ahead and help the local economy as well as local residents in hopes to eventually be able to bring back selected groups of foreign tourists. At as always, we thank you for listening to the Patia News. Just make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and stay tuned for quick daily English news updates as well as English updates on general news as needed. Take care. Hello, everybody. Today is November.